Here we have 6.3 simplifying a radical expression with an odd exponent. And so this is kind of just a note so that you remember from, I kind of already done this with the numbers, but when you do that division, because you're going to be taking the exponent here and then dividing it by the index that you have out there, right? And then whatever's on the inside is, is there. Well, when you do that, you're gonna set it up as to i divided into e. So you have your divisor, which is this i, and then you have um, the numerator there. So it's the denominator and then the numerator. So the numerator is e. And after you divide, what ends up happening is, is you end up finding a quotient, how many times this number goes into that number evenly. And then you also end up finding a remainder at the end. Now remember from fractions, right? When you have a fraction and you do the division to simplify it, um, it, and it has to be an improper fraction, right? Where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. When that happens, you do the division and what you end up getting is this whole number plus a smaller fraction, which ends up being the remainder over the denominator or divisor. And so then what happens is, is you end up rewriting this and you can use a if the inside of the square root was a, right? So you end up taking this and you rewrite that exponent like this. So instead of that fraction e over i, you're going to replace it with its quotient and then its remainder and its divisor. And then use the, the product rule for a uh, variable basis. So if you have a variable uh, raised to an exponent where the exponents are added, it's because that base had the two different exponents being multiplied together. Um, and so then you can basically go backward, right? So that's the idea that we're gonna use here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, this is an index of two, and we're gonna take w and then 13 over two. And how many times does that work? I'm gonna have two parts. 12 goes into 13 six times with one left over, okay? So that is two into 13 six times, which is only 12, so I have one left over. But the one left over has to be written as a fraction, okay? So it went in six whole times but I still have one out of two left over. So then what happens is, is this becomes w to the six, and then this back in its square root form, w to the first power. And you don't need to write the one when it's a first power. And so this is the simplified version of that. Now, similarly, we can do this problem. So we take u to the 21 over two, how many times does two go into 21? 10 times, but that only gives me 20. So I have one left over. So this becomes u to the whole number 10 times u to the one over two. And then u to the 10th is just a regular u to the 10th. This fraction exponent has to go back into its radical form, okay? And so that's how you simplify the radical expressions were if they were square roots. Now, if it was a cube root, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is, is that the denominator would be a three. And so once you have your remainder, it would be that remainder over that denominator. Okay, so it'd be one over three in the end. I'm sure we will get to those types of examples eventually. So let's just keep, keep going.